Bruins surprised everyone by winning Saturday night. I don't What's know. up, guys? Ah, uh, yeah, you did a good job. You scored the overtime goal, and I will tell you this: is that um, I I didn't realize how much it meant to me until it happened. Until it yeah. happened, and I woke up the next morning, and I and yesterday I felt uh, I felt actually felt good. It improved my mood. Yeah. I said the same thing. Somebody, a, a relative in Michigan, texted me, said, oh, we're just sitting here at breakfast figuring how happy you must be today. And I said, uh, actually, you're right. I said, and not only that, it makes living in Boston that much easier for at least a week. <laughs> Until they get, you know, I don't know, maybe swept by the Panthers or something. No, don't but, get negative again. Come on. Well, you but you know how like the like the mood of like a, a lot of people, the, their mood is affected by this. Yes, and people just get crappy about it. I felt like crap on Friday. Well, I assumed they would lose. I said we, Fred and I, both said they were going to lose. We, every that game. Look. Nobody could come up with a reason as to why they were going to win on Saturday other than go bees. You couldn't put forth right. a logical argument right. as to why you thought they were going and, to win. And after they fell behind one nothing, did you think the game was over? Yes. I know I did. I did. In I fact, was sure of it. I as I soon as Toronto got that goal, as soon as Newlander scored, I'm like, that's it. That's it. They don't have enough time. I was out. That's it. It's over. I was out watching the that part of the game. And then in during the second intermission, I was like, "Let's go home, let let's go home," mm-hmm. and because I'll just like like, and I and I was not completely focused. And then I saw them tie it, and then when they didn't win in regulation, I thought they were going to lose in overtime. But here's the deal: now that they've won the first round, because uh, I I listened to a lot of Toronto people yesterday. That was what I listened to in the car, is Toronto people, and um, you know. They, they want to. They, I mean, they have to. They the Marner's gone. They have to make decisions and move some pieces around. But and you know, Billy talked about how tough their you know fourth line was. Now they all played terribly. I guess that's what they're saying in Toronto. I didn't follow that as much I, as I, I should have. I, yeah, I was just gonna say and, we had other things to look at yeah. instead of focusing on the Maple Leafs fourth line. Yeah, well I guess they yeah. hate the fourth line. And okay. so um I'm just I'm just telling you that they don't like anything. And so they they liked uh you know wall. But the the thing is is that now that they've won that first round, uh I, I got I got to think that – oh, so my point was everyone from Toronto's like, you know, and then the Bruins are just going to lose to Florida. Like, you know, the Bruins won game seven just so they can go lose to Florida. And would I bet on the Bruins to win? I, yeah, I mean, they're a lo- they probably a long shot. I, I would bet on the Bruins See, to win the series because – but I don't, I don't think they're going to win. But I th- – I'll tell you this. I like their chances better of, of beating – the Florida Panthers that I did when they were up three two in the Toronto series, because I think that maybe there's a monkey off their back. There's certainly a monkey off Montgomery's back. He hadn't won a clinching game since he was in Dallas. Like yeah. he didn't win the last clinching game in Dallas. Like there's there's got to be a great sense of relief with that team. And I'll tell you this: I'm going to ask you guys who do you think should start game one in goal. That's that's a big question. It should be Swayman. See, I don't think so. It should be Swayman. Look, he's earned the right to play game one. I understand all of the all of the numbers. Linus Allmark is fantastic against Florida. Was great against them this year. And in his career, I think he's 12-3-1 with a save percentage of almost 930. But after what you just saw from Jeremy Swayman, especially those last three games where he single-handedly kept the Bruins in it where they should have lost all three, I you can't sit him. Okay, down. here's why. Here's why I think you should play Allmark. What do you think, Hardy? I think you should go with Swayman. Okay, I'll tell you why I think you should play Allmark. Right. Short turnaround. If you're gonna play Allmark, you, you got to play him. I, I think if you're gonna play Allmark at all, you got to play him in game one. Why can't you play him in game two? Because I just every game that goes by that you're not playing, because then it sends it back into chaos. Because if because then you're saying if Swayman right. plays badly, you put him back in. I think that I really do think, and I think they're gonna. I think that because there's such a short turnaround that there's no if you if you do have two goalies, this is the game to play Olmark. 
He play, it just it's a bonus that he plays well against Florida. But he you play him in game one. If he plays great, that's awesome. Congratulations. Swayman still plays game two. Yeah, so you I, No, I don't but like John that. Why? If you play Olmark and he plays well, you go, Okay, great, you played your game, then you play Swayman. And then and then you see what you do from there. Swayman is the epitome of a hot goaltender. He is unbelievably good right now. Why wreck that? I, do you I, think it wrecks it if he doesn't? If he gets yes. a night off, you sit him down, and then what if he comes back and doesn't play well in game two because you sat him down? But what if he plays? What if it's? I mean, the the idea is that you give him a, a some rest. I disagree. I you, you're playing every other night, every right. third night. I I don't think the trip, the flight from Florida to, I understand it's like a 48 hour, 36 hour turnaround, but, but it's nothing different than the regular season. Well, let's ask the man that uh, I saw, uh, not in person because I wasn't at the game, but I saw on television skating around with his flag. Oh, there and, he is. And I was explaining to someone who he was. I said he's a, also he's a teacher. Xanadu, congratulations. Yes. Thank you, thank you. I'll get to the uh, goalie situation in a second. First of all, I just want to put out there, I want to say thank you to all the doom and gloom people for staying home Saturday night because that meant all we had on the on Causeway Street were people who believed this team was going to win. And, yes, all of our reasoning was go bees, and that was all we needed, and we were rewarded for our faith. For the Florida series, I'm going to build off that. Was it a Game 7 loss? A foregone conclusion after they lost games five and six. Yes. Florida series, same way. You know what? Let's go out there. Let's do it. Goalies, best I got. You know what? I'm glad I'm not paid to make these decisions. I say you put Elmark in or for either game one or game two. You're paying him $4 million. Give Jeremy Swayman a rest. And at the very least, I don't know, ask Jeremy Swayman. I, it's not my job to figure that out, but I say put Elmark in, get Swayman a rest, whatever makes the most sense to goalie Bob, Jim, and everybody else. And that is Xanadu, who I saw on television. He was on television. If you don't know Xanadu, whereas I forget what jersey. Was it Ryder? What jersey does he wear? Uh, yeah, Michael Ryder, 73. Yeah, Michael Ryder yeah. jersey. He's, yeah. He wears the glasses from Slapshot, and he just rollerblades around. Around the entire city with a Bruins flag. Sometimes with the shirt off, depending yeah. on the weather. Ooh, I've never seen him with the shirt off. I mean, watching Samson off and what he did in Game 7, which I I did a triple take when I saw he was in net. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? Did it matter? No, I put... don't, Wall couldn't have done any better than that. And this is like, uh, the thing you would never, ever say, Fred, so I'm not saying this. It probably doesn't matter. I don't think... Either Swayman or Allmark are going to poop down their pants uh, in uh, in a start either tonight or in Game Two. But Wallach's reasoning to start the whole thing is what I would say. This is what we talk about year after year after year. Teams that make it either to the very end or at least to the conference finals, how do they get there? Oftentimes they're riding a hot goaltender, and you don't switch off just because you had an overtime game and it was. A quick turnaround. You just you, you don't. Um, there's there's no need to, and it also kind of puts back on Montgomery some decision making that I don't think he has to make. I don't think I don't think anyone is going to fault him if he goes with Swayman and Swayman is is good enough. It, you, you don't expect him to go out there and pitch shutouts, but if he just plays like he's been playing. There's no reason to go to Allmark other than other than the rest, and if you want to have his availability at some point in this series. Yeah, and then if you, but I just think that if you don't play Allmark and Swayman struggles, and then you play Allmark and you lose game two, you're really up the creek. I, I don't think the extra right. He sat now for what a week. I don't think an extra two days is going to bother him. No, much. but no, no. What I said is, if you play Swayman in game one, he doesn't play well, and then you play Allmark in game two, and you lose that game, then you're really up the creek because then you got a whole, a whole mess on your well, hands. Well, Derek, yeah, you you're play, done. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the you, series is over. Yeah, yeah you well, play Allmark in game one, and he's lousy. Now you've lost game one, and you sat a hot goaltender. If you like that clip, check out more videos from Toucher and Hardy here. For more Bruins analysis and opinion, hit this playlist.